Hey everybody, welcome back to Learning to DIY. Today we're going to take a look at this HyperTuff three-piece multi-tool knife set. Uh, it says clearance and uh, this was $10 during the holiday season. But hey, you're going to save a dollar in the clearance section. Yeah, I noticed their clearance section is not really super discounted. Uh, it's a place to put things where they only have a few of. Um, anyway, shows you all the features on the multi-tool. It's pretty much like most other multi-tools other than all, and we'll talk about those, but, uh, um, it does come with the knife, and, uh, we'll just get it open with a, the one that I normally use and see how different it is from the Milwaukee. get all these out of the package so we can take a look at them. Alright. Huh. That's one thing. Oh, man. Yep, they really don't want these to suddenly disappear in the store. Get away from yourself, kids. All right. That's spring loaded. Okay. And our bottle opener, which these are fun to collect. I I don't know if I will, but I've seen them for Klein and Milwaukee. I don't know what, I've got one on my keychain for Death Wish Coffee, and I don't know fun to do. It's, I have a beautiful wooden plaque with a bottle opener on it that I got from Miller's Rustic Sawmill. Oh man, that's really super light though. And you can see it says, you know, hyper tough because it's hyper and tough and nothing on that side. Okay. But that's, that is super light. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this. This is, it's got a blade guard. And I did see that you actually have to press a little lever on the inside. That instruction was on the, on the box on how to close it. Um, there's no button release like this one where you can just do that can't shake it out so looks like it's going to be pretty standard you got your belt clip there and it says you know steel construction and oh and the instructions are actually right there and this one the blade it changes just like well very similar to the one on the Milwaukee um, the difference being, it's good sturdy. Uh, keep it. But anyway, uh, it does have a loop, a place to put a lanyard, um, as well. Just like this has a hole. Um, this is slightly lighter, but it also lacks tools that this has. But the uh, button here to change out the tool on this one as a guard, it's just a little piece of metal that sticks out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little piece of metal that sticks out to guard the button. Whereas this one I think I'd be afraid to to cut like that with it and hold the blade up here. So safer back there, otherwise you might lose your blade, it might slip out, and you don't want that to happen. So, um, but other than that, it's pretty light. Um, 
feels like it might be fairly durable, but I'm not sure. But for nine bucks for this and this and this multi-tool seems like a pretty good deal. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it's not gonna come apart too easy. It doesn't have a case, obviously. But uh, it has a, like these buttons here. It's got a belt clip too. So fold up, clip it on your belt, but it does come apart easy, so I don't see a way to prevent it from coming apart on your belt. It is spring-loaded. I have big hands, so I think this is made for someone with big hands. Um, let's take a look at the features. Okay, so it's got a file and looks like that could be a big slotted screwdriver. Let's see what it says it is. Large slotted screwdriver, okay. And uh, this is the, well it says, it must be the all, oh at least snap into place. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay, so the button pushes to release. All right, now this has like a blade on it too. It says all, but it has this curve on it, almost like it's supposed to be a can opener, but it's not. Okay, well here's the can opener, and that's just like it appears. So that has to be the all. Okay. Oh, that's maybe so you can get it out. Okay. But that's pretty sharp for, well, I mean, it's not gonna cut me here, but it could. I mean, if I, if I pressed hard enough, that could cut. But, um, but yeah, that's, this is, in case you were wondering, what, why would you need an all, um, and you see these multi-tools and you're just not familiar with a lot of tools as I was not for a long time. And all is great for punching holes through things. So, um, especially with a, with a, ser with a non serie with a sharp edge like that. I mean, I, I think you could punch holes through leather to make holes in cloth to help sew things. So if you have to sew up a bandage or if you have to sew up your skin <laughs> and you need a perforation, you know, if you're in the wilderness and get attacked by a bear and you're bleeding and uh, you have your sewing kit and multi-tool. On the other side, we've got a knife and that's actually sharper than the hull, so it's a pretty good sharp knife. I guess getting these out, you're gonna have to be careful. Uh, small Phillips head, it looks like a PH1 Phillips head screwdriver. And this must be a, let's see, small slotted screwdriver. So you got three different sizes slotted. That's interesting. And a saw, a serrated blade saw. It's actually nice and sharp. So hyper tough. I don't have a lot of these uh, multi-tools, but I will say this is much larger and bulkier than many I have seen. This may be good for a center console or glove box or just in the back of the car uh, just in case because it doesn't seem like, I, I mean, it's too heavy, in my opinion, to carry on a belt uh, without a case. So, did not come with a case. Um, this is pretty much it. So, this is going to be stored away somewhere. Um, I have what we call the drop zone at home, and uh, things like this would go in the drop zone just in case I need something really quick. I keep my keys there, my wallet, well, actually this goes in the drop zone too so you empty your pockets at night and uh, this would go in there I have odds and ends in there always have a pair of nitrile gloves <laughs> just little things like that flashlights um, this is really not bad I mean it's simple 
It doesn't have extra blade storage. There's nothing fancy going on here. It's simple, but it's light. And uh, it seems like it'd be fine. I know that uh, the sharpness and durability on the blade, I, I don't know about the HyperTuff uh, brand. I usually get Stanley uh, razor blades. They seem really good. Um, and I think right now I have some Milwaukee ones and, and some Stanley ones. So uh, yeah, not bad for nine bucks. Um, these three things um, and ten, I believe, around the holidays. It's one of the gift sets that they sell. So yeah, there's your hyper tough uh, three piece multi tool and knife set. And uh, I think I'm gonna go use this right now. Thanks for learning with me.